Hello everyone. So, as I've promised in my previous uh, post, uh, that I will make a tutorial video on Keyframe Sequence Player 2. So, uh, yeah. Here it is. So, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, uh, this time, instead of the old one being like client-sided and also being, being very uh, buggy, like super duper buggy, uh, this time it will actually be uh, very smooth now and not only that it will be server-sided and have uh, a couple more new features added to it so uh, firstly is we're gonna uh, want to add a remote event here and then uh, call it play oh that's play animation like so now next thing is I'll go to starter player Go to starter character scripts, insert a empty local script in, and paste this script in. As you can see, there are some uh, things here that you can change, specifically the uh, mode type, which uh, you can choose from smooth to choppy, the easing style, of course, the uh, blending time, and uh, or if you're using choppy, you can like. I guess change how many keyframes it I guess goes over anyways I uh, will get back to this later so uh, first <laughs> oops first go into uh, server script service paste uh, insert in an empty script and paste this script in okay so uh, anyways this essentially handles uh, the characters animation state which uh, as you can see right here, can uh, we have jumping, free fall, swimming, climbing, seated, whatever. Uh, anyways, I recommend not uh, changing too much around with this. I mean, you can also add in new stuff. Like for example, um, hmm, maybe landing. You know, since you know, if you want a landing animation, you can. So uh, yeah. Now next thing, or I guess the final thing that you want to have is go back to replicated storage, uh, insert in a folder, and call it animations. So uh, essentially this is where all your uh, animations will be located and uh, you got and their names should also correspond to the anim sequences here. Because we have Adio Anim, Walk Anim, Jump Anim, Climb Anim, Set Anim. I've already uh, made those and I've already also showcased those in the previous video. So uh, I'm just gonna re import them into here. Alright, so now I am done importing all of it. As you can see, there are some additional stuff here. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna remove those guys since I guess. <laughs> Uh, they won't they won't be used on this video but probably soon in the future since you guys already saw what they are you already know what uh <laughs> i'm up to so yeah we have walk anim climb anim idle anim don't mind that jump anims and set anim so uh firstly let's add some i guess examples here so uh, for example let's add a trust part here so that we can climb this and maybe a seat right here now we can sit down and test out all the animations that our script can handle so uh, let's play test this now and see uh, if it works or not so uh, as you can see hold on why is it taking so long for me to be R6? Hold on guys, let me fix my Wi-Fi. Okay, so uh, Wi-Fi problems aside, let's actually uh, try again here. See if it works or not. As you can see, okay, there we go, finally. So you may have to wait for a little bit here, but in actual game production, it shouldn't take that long. Actually, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now we are idling, right? Okay, nice. And if we walk, yeah, look at that. It works. Uh, there's still is the uh, there's still some delay, specifically in uh, I guess the state, the uh, player state side, since um, 
since now the uh, player state instead of it being handled on the client which is what the previous script does uh, this time it is now handled on the server so that uh, other people can uh, see your animations properly so yeah look at that very cool not only that uh, you can also see the animation blending here in real time uh, there are still some delays specifically if your Wi-Fi really sucks and is really like laggy <laughs> like mine anyways yeah look at that it works look at that that's so cool you can sit down you know very cool we can we can climb this truss then uh, I guess jump down on it so uh, yeah that's very cool and very awesome so uh, now let's go over the settings or I guess configuration so uh, yeah let's get over that so uh, let's go back to our uh, local script here and as you can see we have a couple of uh, stuff we can change here so firstly we can change this to a uh, choppy to I to I suppose I guess have real-time choppy animations so right here choppy skip is essentially how many keyframes you are skipping over so uh, for example let's actually play test this see how this looks oh I seem to be lagging <laughs> I seem to be very laggy as a matter of fact so let's just skip to the part where I actually load in <laughs> Okay, so I finally am in. As you can see, you guys just saw that 2,000 ping. Holy. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is what uh, choppy <laughs> animation style looks. And yeah, you don't even have to change anything in the keyframe sequence. You can just set that mode to smooth or choppy and it will just do the work for you. And yes, it affects practically every single animation this includes this uh sitting down here the blending as you can see so if like i jump look at that the blending is also skipped so yeah that's really cool so uh yeah it's essentially an easier way to make choppy animations on the fly so uh, now next setting Okay, so now next thing is uh, easing style. So uh, firstly, to make this actually work, uh, you have to set your playback mode to smooth or else uh, it's not really gonna work for uh, for choppy here since, <laughs> I guess, since yeah, it, it's not really, uh, it's not really interpolated for, cho uh, for choppy yet. But probably soon in the future, I might be able to have a workaround here to make a choppy animations work with custom easing styles. But for now, uh, you guys are stuck using smooth. So, uh, like you saw earlier, you guys probably already saw the easing style here earlier, which was sign. But we can change this to something, I guess, like linear, which essentially just removes all like the I guess sign way I don't really know how sign easing style works but uh it does have a big difference so right here firstly you might have um <laughs> firstly you might have noticed the animation here is actually running weirdly faster than before you know <laughs> don't mind the lag though but yeah the animation is I guess more more linear here it's I guess more robotic looking you know my god look at that and it's also uh, runs faster for some reason <laughs> I don't know why that happens I think that's literally just because of easing style and surely not my script uh, I guess having issues with keyframe sequences hopefully but uh yeah look at that it it works well yeah so uh, that's all for this i guess you can experiment with more stuff on your own i won't spoil it but uh yeah that's all for this well bye bye Ooh.